Well, hello everybody and a warm welcome. We've got a really special couple of hours coming up now here at Hochanda. And I think these kind of hours uh, solidify in my mind anyway why Hochanda is such a special place. We talk about the emphasis on demonstration. And what we're going to do is, well, firstly, allow me to introduce you to the very talented John, I think, first and foremost. Hello. Hey, John. I love the premise of this because yeah. you, you said quite rightly, and we've got to thank you for really pushing this idea, because you were saying a lot of the time we do shows like One Day Specials yeah. and we push beautiful products, but you wanted to have a couple of hours where, a little bit like Let Me Only Loose, where you get to actually explore things. So stuff we might already have at home or if not, you can buy from us, but it's all about techniques and getting to know our product. It is, yeah. I wanted to do a, I wanted to do a show where, and I think that's why we went for the title of Lockers Crafts too, yeah. because that's always been my nickname of Lockers, and I that's craft as well. That's a good nickname. Sorry? I like that. Yeah, Lockers. so, um, yeah, I did stand in for Leonie a couple of years ago and they did it Lockers, Let Lockers Live. Let Lockers, Lockers Loose, loose. wasn't it? Yeah. Let Lockers Loose. But what I wanted to do was, we do the one-day specials, yeah. as you know, and we do the two-hour shows, and we do all these shows. Mm -hmm. But what we actually don't do is, sometimes I don't get to show you all the techniques yeah. or the demos, and people will message me or message Crafts 2 and say, I bought the sprays, what else can I do with them? I've got the glitter, what can I do with it? Mm -hmm. How can I colour my stamps? So what we wanted to do is we worked really well with the buying team at Hachanda and said, yeah. look, is there any chance that we can do a two-hour show and hopefully we're going to try and do it every month or every couple of months. I love, I'd love that. Where love that. it's not about, look at this, it's new, it's wonderful. Yeah. It's more about, I want to show you what we can do yeah. and the techniques and the tips and the things like that. So yeah. it's, it's like a thank you yeah. from, from us and Crafts2 and Hachanda to the customers. Oh, and, nice. and it's a way to show you some of the things we can do. That's really that was the nice. idea anyway. Well, I mean, I know it sounds very convoluted, but that's what no, I wanted to do. No, I, I really like this. Okay, I'll tell you what we can do. We will just uh, go through because we've got our stuff to share. Before we do anything else, there is a very special birthday announcement. So uh, we've got a lovely floor manager, Molly. She's off because uh, it is her mother's birthday. So we'd like to wish Lucy a very happy birthday from Molly and the whole family and from everyone here as well. Lucy, you are awesome. And I hope you're having a happy 20... She's 21. 21. 21. Excellent. Yeah. So she would have had Molly when she was... was Three, yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty right. much. Right, but Mo I mean, Molly doesn't look more than about fifteen anyway. Bless her, it's does very she? True. So, very true. yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> happy birthday! Look, if, if you're celebrating a birthday, because we know it's locked down, I hope you're having a great day. So, happy birthday to everyone. Uh, let's go and start with some sprays. No ordinary sprays. We're talking Seth Apter. Yeah, these are very different. Okay. And I, I will go through. You know, I'll go through loads of things yeah. we can do with them. There's two different things on these that I really think are important. Yeah. The first one is these are quick drying. Mm -hmm. So normally with sprays, we have to wait for them to dry. We yes. have to heat set them. You watch it on here and you'll see people with their heat guns drying it yeah. off before they do the next stage. Time and time again, yeah. These are quick dry and they Brilliant. will not tell us how they do that mm. because they're water-based and you'd expect quick yeah. dry to be solvent. Yeah. But it's not. Wait, and we don't know the secret? No, okay. they don't. They won't tell me. Honestly, no. I've asked and they won't tell me. <laughs> the other thing on these yeah. is... These are non-clog. And that's really important. That is genuinely really important. And what I've done here is, in, again, you'll see this in a lot of things. I've brought mine in, OK? Right. So you can see here the different levels in them. Yeah. OK? So these are not a new set I've been given for the show. No. So that um, they will all work perfectly. Mm. These have been used by me for three or six months. I mean, some that of them are qu getting quite low. You can see which one I like the most, because it's the blue colours. Is it funny? I remember when you first brought these, you yeah. said to Leone, have you ever... Have you ever got to the bottom yeah. of a bottle? And she was like, no. No, and she had never got to the yeah. bottom of the bottle. I saw some a couple of weeks ago, uh -huh. um, and they were brilliant, they were beautiful, and I don't say anything against them, but the instructions were, when you've finished, what you must do is, when you finish spraying, you must clean your nozzle. Yeah. Yeah, to stop them blocking. Right. And then I saw loads of people on social media saying, mine have blocked. Right. And they're going back saying, you need to wipe them. I have never wiped any of these. Non-wipe bottles? I have never done anything to mm -hmm. them. And these were transported in my usual manner. Yeah. I've been thrown in a box like that, there you go. basically. No airs or graces there. And, you know, lots of companies have done sprays. Lots of companies have done sprays for years. Mm -hmm. And I have stuck away from them. Yeah. I've not done shows on them because they do one thing. Yeah. And then you get, as I said to Leone, you get sometimes a third way down and that's it, it's blocked. Yeah. I have empties of these oh, and I've used these on workshops. A lot of crafts out there 
are going to be wide-eyed hearing that. Can I just show you something? Now, this is the first one. Uh, I want to look at the amount of mica that you are getting with those. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a little bit of a. It's got a magic to it. There's a well-known wizarding world with a young boy. <laughs> this is what the feel. Look at that. It looks like something that should be in an apothe apothecary. All of that mica just going through. So beautiful. You are getting the gold in there. I've got to tell you, 10% of the stock's gone here. Uh, you've got your peacock, your violet, your... Um, now, what, ultramar what has so it? Your base, ultramar, which means uh, ultramarine. French. Oh, the French. Ocean and gold. So need... what I did was I put them together and I called this peacock. Okay. Because basically, to me, you've got the gold, you've got the turquoisey blue, you've got the deep blue, and you've got the purple that you'd find in a, yeah. in a peacock tail, and you can mix okay. the colours together. We, I tell you how I do, because I know everyone wants to see it. We start off saying, John, we're just going to do demos, and I've been talking for too long. I'm going to be quick, and then we're going to get yeah. to John. So well, that's your two first. Hours. We have got two hours. That's your first option. 19.99 is your price there. Uh, let me show you your second one. Uh, so here, different colorways. This is called spring that you're seeing. Once again, you have got, uh, this is a good look at the amount of mica in there, John. Look You'll at that. get, if you, if you got, I, I would challenge people at home. Mm -hmm. If you've got mica sprays at home, grab one. It won't be sort of mixed up like that. It'll be sat at the bottom. Have a look how much mica you've got in there. Yeah. Because I promise you, you won't have the quantity that's in these. They are, it's I mean, only it's the silver and gold that have got the mica. The yeah. other are pure colour. Okay. But they've got so much mica in there, it is absolutely crazy. Beautiful. If I can just be really annoying, yeah. this is one spritz of the gold over the top. What? A cheeky spritz? One. Look at that. Okay, we like it. 19.99 your price. If you do want to go for your spring, uh, spring's got the silver, and then you've got all the other beautiful colours: rose. Uh, what is that? Vera you've got basic vervine, which vervine. is verbena. These Fr the French. I know. It kills me. I know. Uh, you've also got your pearl and sunshine. I, I, we need we need to get Abs back. He was speaking in French earlier. Okay, moving on. We got some stamps for you as well. Now these are lovely stamps, John. Uh, so two J's. How much do we love 2Js? I love the 2Js yeah. designs. It really gives you the opportunity to get artist-drawn stamps mm. at home without even, you know, without the stress or the hassle or anything. They're fully licensed, fully covered on angel policy, and they're just beautiful oh, scenes. Look at that. And these, I've picked these because these help to show the techniques. Because if you look at that, yeah. where is that stamp on the counter? Well, it's not. It's not there. You've created that scene yourself We've using the We've made that, and yeah. it's so easy to do, so I'll be showing you how to do that. We like, oh, I'm changing the colour. We've gone from sort of a wintry scene to spring. Am I looking at the wrong ones there? Let me have a look. Oh, I am. I apologise. That'll be me. I've put no, them behind the wrong That's OK. Ones. Let me try that again. That's coming up. <laughs> here, we've got these lovely scenes here. So apologies, I was showing you the wrong ones there. But that, come on, that's lovely. That's actually coloured in with two pencils, that's it. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that. There's a nice symmetry there. Two J stamps, two pencils. Yeah. That's one pencil. OK. But I want to show some easy colouring yeah. techniques that anybody can actually achieve. Nice. OK. And I'll just show you one more. Lovely. OK. Uh, there we go. No, I'm, wait a second. We've been talking about 9.99 For both of those, that, yeah. that feels like a mistake. Nope, I believe that's right. Well, it's the price that's on the screen, but no, we've tried to bring them as the best price that we can for people. <laughs> it's funny because both Emily and producer and I had the same <laughs> thought. We're like, 9 99 Okay, but yeah. hey, look, 9 99 The idea of this show was not to bring lots of big bundles and yeah, lots yeah. of big prices. It was just to bring the things that you need to do some of the techniques I'm doing. Love it. Okay, we're going to move on. We've got some more stamps for you. So apologies, I, um, I got ahead. I was showing you the samples for these two. So thirteen ninety nine. a little bit more than the other one, but you'll see why, because look at the size of that stamp down there that is a big boy stamp so you're getting uh, some lovely scenes this is do you know what it, it's like have you ever seen very talented artists create wilderness scenes so you you know you think alaska um all these beautiful tranquil colorado it's it's like that or it could be in the uk scotland maybe it could be anywhere yeah it could be in wales it could Team be in whitby whitby is yeah there? Beautiful. Uh, 13 at night. There's a story I won't say, but there is a story here at Ho Chanda. I won't, I won't embarrass the team, but there is a story in Ho, uh, Ho Chanda about Whitby, but we'll see. 13.99 your price there. 145605 your item number. Now we've got a glitter and shine pack for you. Yeah. 
Yeah. So it's a, set it all. It's such a great, this is a great pack. This, this is my basic. This is what I use mm -hmm. so, so much. So you've got my double-sided adhesive sheets yep. in here. You've got the glitter, and you'll get a mixed colour of glitter. Lovely. So you won't get a set, you know, some people, you'll get silver, some will get clear, some will get yellow, you will get a mixed colour. Yeah. You get the glitter sprayer. When you sprayer. say mixed colour, you'll get, it, what we're saying here, we're you'll showing silver. You'll get one silver. pouch of yeah. a colour. Yeah. Yeah. It won't be mixed. No, it won't right. be mixed. Yeah. Okay. Colour can vary. Yeah. You've also got in there then the gilding foiling sheets, Ooh. which every time I've brought them, people have gone absolutely crazy for them. Well, but also... Sorry, I've just taken some. Um, but also on these, everybody asks me what to do with them, so I'm going to be showing you some more techniques of what to do with them and Kay. how we can actually use them. The gilding, the gilding sheets are beautiful. They are, they are absolutely beautiful. We, we will see those in action. And tell me a little bit about the bottle, because this is, when you first brought it, was one of those eureka moments for crafters. Like, yeah, what? I, I really think it was. I mean, I'm going to pick the purple one here. Okay. But the idea is this is dry glue, glitter. Yeah. yeah. It's ultra fine dry glitter. Yeah, and so what I can do is, I can spray it. Oh. So I can spray now dry glitter. So, I mean that's very very clever. Being able to see it. There, I just can see it. Up. No one else can. No, Yay. you can. You can. There you go. Just shooting out. But it allows you to give such a, a, a fine misting of your glitter. It You're really not... does, and it comes in so handy with different techniques yeah. that you can mix it together and do different colours and all sorts of things, but you're not going to get it to, you know, you, you won't see it as well until we actually yeah. use it. Okay. But we'll this to me that. was an absolute revelation. Love it. I'm just going to show you some examples of how you can use everything on the show. So you're going to have your glitters. Uh, there's the dry glitter mister. You're getting the, the double sided sheets are fantastic and also the gilding uh, sheets in there as well. So beautiful, beautiful goodies to play around with. $19.99 is your price. Uh, 961-040, your item number. Okay, speaking with glitters. Uh, is ink. Is ink always bring us fantastic glitters and you've got sets of four. Let me just show you here. Uh, this is your first set of four on the top row. I mean, they already look good. I'm not even giving it, sometimes we have to give them a little wiggle, but they already look great. So $11.99 your price. You are getting your violet, your Caribbean, your blue, your pastel rose and your pastel green. 208-949 your item number. What beautiful colorways. I think we can all appreciate just there. They work. So that's your first option. Then we've got our middle option, which you can see here. So this is not a pick and mix. They're coming in sets of four. So we just have a look down there at the middle option. Uh, this is your nighttime collection, your marine blue, your silver, your turquoise, or turquoise as Paolo says, and your black one. Uh, 11 dollars is your price there, 739-188, your item number. And then finally, just down here, this is your festive collection. So, I mean, festive, I'd say more celebratory. You've got your gold, your copper, your red one, and your green. 894-308, uh, your item number. Last, but certainly not least, the Press to Impress Starter Kit. Such a good stamping system, and I see you using it every time you visit us. It is. This, to me, is there are independent videos out on YouTube, so you can search those mm. where people have compared all of the stamping presses, mm -hmm. and the Press to Impress comes out the best. Wow. The Press to Impress is, is the best priced, Yeah. because I'm not allowed to say cheapest, am okay. I? Okay. So it is the best priced one, but it comes out the best. And it was actually done by an independent demonstrator who now demonstrates for a different company. Oh, she, okay. she never worked for us. Yeah. Um, she tried them all. And yeah. I've had so many friends and people who've said to me, I've got this one, it doesn't do that, it doesn't do mm. work. I, this was the last one I bought, and yeah. I've got to say, it is the best one. I've ever had. What do you, for you, what's the difference? What the do you the main difference for me is, first of all, we've actually included now the new easy pull apart that's, magnets. That's a big, big aspect. Yeah, but yeah. you've got the foam. Yeah. If you're stamping a clear stamp onto a hard surface, mm. you do not get a good impression. Yeah. The number of people who message me, because this shows all about the messages and emails that mm. I've had, uh -huh. people going, I've got a clear stamp and it won't stamp properly. And I would say, which platform are you using is the first question. Okay. If you've got this one, then put some foam in. Okay. You need some foam in. But it's not only got the foam in the base, yeah. and it's got the metal piece in it so that your magnets stick, yeah. so your card doesn't move. It's actually got a foam base as well to give extra squidgy protection. Ah. And when you're stamping down, it gives it really good protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the other great thing I love about this is I don't have card cut to size. Hmm. 
and most people don't at home. Yeah. So when you're putting a piece of card in, a lot of the platforms you have to have the right size. The right size. Yeah. Now this is designed for A4. So it doesn't matter if it, it leans off, hangs Look, off. it's got a no. It's got a clip there. Yeah. Perfect. That measurement between there and there is exactly A4. Yeah. So it's held even without the magnets in place. Ah, uh, okay. Perfect. So when that's down, that is held in place oh, already. Oh, that's perfect. So I don't have to start cutting card to yeah, size. Yeah. Love that. Just makes it so much easier. Yeah. But I'll oh. be doing loads of things to yeah. show you with well, it. Well, we're going to be playing thirty-four ninety-seven. Your price. You're not only getting your uh, press to impress, but you're also getting the case as well, which you can see, and you're getting your magnets as well. Uh, John, I just want to clarify because the one we have in the studio, it's just got the two magnets, but the ones they get, they'll get the easy. You lift. will get the two normal magnets in there, but you get yeah. a pack of the two easy lift as well with it. Perfect. They yeah, or they might be stuck to the back of the actual um, we'll packaging, because that's They'd usually what happens. Okay, we'll find out. Uh, but yeah, you do get a little, an extra packet in there with the two easy right. lifting. Thirty-four ninety-seven is your price. Oh, there we go. So you will be getting an extra pack. So they come with magnets and the easy lift. So you're getting four magnets and two of the easy lift uh, there. Thirty-four ninety-seven is your price. Three eight six three 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 item number. Uh, we're going to jump onto the website. Remember, this whole show is about emails. Um, so feel free if you've got any questions. If you want to see anything on the show, we will always try and oblige. But there is a lot to discover. Have a look at all of the um, five star reviews there as well. And this is the thing that you get with Crafts Two and John next door. You always get five star reviews. Um, I'm glad we're having a busy show. I mean, it's funny, and this is a real compliment to John, because John, the first thing he said, he came in, genuinely, when we're having our meeting with a producer, and he said to us, look, these two hours, it's not about the money. I know we are a shopping channel. It's not about the money, but it's about sharing the techniques, and it's a thank you, really, to all the fans out there. So uh, we are going to get to demonstration. Very quickly, John, the little hoovers. Yes. Now, they're popular. Have we got those on the show? Uh, we have, yes. We've put those on, so yeah. I've got mine here. So, yeah. Just, just to catch up all your die cuts and everything. They're it very catches, picks up all your die cuts and things, but what you'll see is... And glitter. When these are brand new, they will not pick up the glitter. It won't pick it up off the water medium, yeah. but nothing will, because no. that's static. But when they're brand new, they won't pick up the glitter. Once they've been used for a couple of weeks, they will. Oh, okay. What happens is the filters get a little bit blocked. Yeah. If you pour it. glitter down and put your, your vacuum on top and suck it up, you'll find a third of it will come out of that air hole there. Oh, okay. And it will just blow out everywhere. Fair enough. Um, whereas once they've actually been used for a while, your filters start to get a little bit clogged. And that's what you want for the glitter anyway. And that's what anyway. you want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It Brilliant. works brilliantly. But again, okay. I'll be showing that through the show. Perfect. All right. Right. So I'm going to do the first thing with the sprays that we mm -hmm. would normally do. But normally what you'd see me doing with a spray show is I would have a box here. Yeah, you would. Yeah, Every so time. I'd have a spray box yeah. to keep it the area neat. Now we've got the water medium map, I don't need that. This has been another product where... This is my product yeah. of 2020, this was my I've heard a few dream. people say that, and that's a big statement. Yeah, it is. There's actually a, a, there's a lady who, has a, who does a, has a shop, and she's sort of on, on social media quite big. Yeah. And she actually put on there, um, she said, this is my product of the year. Wow. Not in terms of sales, but in terms of what I personally love to use. And I thought, it's nice when somebody else big does statement. it, and they're yeah. not saying it because they've got to, no. sort of thing. It's just, this is now, and I would imagine it just stays out on your desk and it's your go-to. I, I actually have, I have two. Yeah. You'll see that today, because okay. I have to do that for tidiness. Yeah. Um, but yeah, literally one, this is my one from home. So this is my show one, this is my home one. Yeah. It sits on one of my A3 craft mats. You can see what I was doing yesterday, I was inking on it. Yeah. But that literally sits on my desk there. Perfect. to come in yeah. and be used all the okay. time. I yes. use it constantly. All right, so um, sprays. But what I don't have to do yeah. is I don't have to have a spray box because I've got the lip. Okay. So a lot of the techniques I'm going to be doing on this, and yeah. I'm going to be showing you lots of different ways. Right. So all I'm going to do first of all is show you the simple spraying. Okay. Yeah. Well, look at the intensity of that colour. So that's the colour we're getting. Okay, but if you actually watch, yeah. you'll see it winking at you. Oh, okay. Do and what wink? I mean by that is, if you see it winking at you, it's actually drying. Okay. So it's really hard to show, but these bits here are already dry. Wow. So that's dry, yeah? Uh -huh. I can see a little bit of run where I've gone a bit heavier, but what it does is it, it winks at me. Yeah, and we as can it winks, see it now, actually, John. If you just hold it where you, where you, are, you can see it drying. So yeah. it's slightly wet, but you can see it just uh, receding back and drying. I mean, that's incredible. How are they, from a water-based spray, 
I just don't know how I don't we've been know, able to do it. Because the thing is, you would expect what normally happens with sprays, yeah. what normally happens with inks and anything like that, they dry from this angle. by soaking. You can see yeah, it even really better, well, can't yeah. you? You can actually see it. It soaks into the paper and it dries by soaking into the paper. Oh, you, at no, home, it doesn't. No. That's the reverse. So I'll show you. And it's okay. pretty much dry. It evaporates off. But how many times have you sprayed and had yeah. paper that's still Gone clean through. on the other side? Yeah. Oh, look, and it's, it's, not, it's not around everywhere yeah. because I've got my mat. That's really but impressive. But what that means I can do is I can then go on uh -huh. with the gold, oh, yeah. give it a shake. Now, you know with sprays that have got mica in them, yeah. they will always tell you to do this. We've heard different techniques. Give it a roll. Yeah, give it a roll. Yeah. Take no notice with these, not with no. the others. Giving it a good shake. Yeah, give it a good shake. The mic is going in the tube anyway, so yeah, yeah. but these are designed to be non-clogged. So even after all that shake. I'm gonna say these are brought by Seth, brought to you by Seth Apter as well. So uh, you know he knows what he's doing. Okay. Yeah. Oh yes. So I hold that up. Look at that, and you can see how quickly most of that's dry. To the to the left of your screen. It's just drying. There's a little bit there, but the rest of it's pretty much dry. Yeah, completely. Wow. So, wow. Yeah, so I've shown that, and we know the techniques that we can do with spraying. Yeah. We know we can spray through masks. We know we can do Leone's favourite. Yeah, that's it. Get the most out of it. Get the most out of it, because it won't dry as quickly on the stencil, but it will dry on there. Mm -hmm. So we can take oh. it off. I mean, there's still an us. awful lot on your... Look at that. But look at that. All the colour... In this is from the mica. And you haven't put there any water is no colour in here but the gold mica. So there's no yeah. pigment at all. Nice. Ni oh. so that looks like a woodcut. But uh, it does. It fantastic. really does. Yeah, we can, we can do okay. that. That's brilliant. Love these But what I wanted to do was to show you some different ways of doing this. So okay. this is an old technique, but I found with combination of the water medium and these sprays, I can do this with far less mess. Mm. So I know loads of people have done it, it's not new, yep. so I'm not inventing the wheel. But if I want to do the shaving foam technique, mm -hmm. I have to get a box. Yeah. 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 And I have to drip little bits of ink on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I have to, I can get two or three prints off if I'm lucky, then it all has to be binned. Yeah. Not with these. Mm, okay. So all I'm going to do You're is saying put it's a harder, nice... It's harder to get shaving foam these days. It is quite hard to get shaving foam, so I'm going to show you how to use something else after this. Oh, okay that we actually have in the house already. Ooh, well, most of us should have. So I've just put some down. Take a roll oh, and nice. you're making a printing plate. Imagine you make but, a mean cake. Oh, no. Actually, no. Yeah. Doesn't have to be smooth, but there we go. Now, what I've got is, and one thing I asked for, which I don't rarely get, I've got a large bin. Thanks, Ben. Uh, so no, that no I can excuse scrape for the edge on yeah. there. But... So there is my surface, but look, I'm not having to use a box mm. or anything. And because this is dishwasher safe, uh, when you've finished, you take the whole thing and throw it in the dishwasher. Perfect. So you're not having to scrape bits off yeah. and everything else. Brilliant. But what I'm going to do is, so look how intensely those colours go down yeah. on there. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looks nice. like a bit of a mess, really. Mm, well, really that's a does. Technique. It's a technique. So I'm going to take first of all. Yeah. Um, this is actually one of the Crafts Two gripper tools that right. you would use for holding your um, when you're embossing. stamped image while yeah. you're embossing yeah. it. So I'm going to go down, left to right. The Bakewell tart. Yeah. I'm going to go up each one. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. That's it. That's it. Mm. I called this one peacock, didn't I? Yeah. So I'm just going to put that down and I'm going to press. Okay. Just and I know we've done this technique and people have seen it and done yeah. it before, but the, this is the advantage of getting the right product to me, is because what actually happens is I can keep using this. So just make sure it's cut down right. Yeah. Yeah. Leave that. I'm going to pipe this to my bin. Take my rule. Score it down. And there mm -hmm. we go. Have a little look at that. Oh, wow. 
John, that looks great. Look at that. You, you have got feathers. And because it's quick drying, I'm yep. just going to move this to one side for one minute. All I do is take a cloth. Mm -hmm. Don't use kitchen roll. Don't waste it. No. Microfiber cloth and polish it. That is done and sealed. But look, it's not rubbing off any of the mica. And then I get that shine. Well, maybe show okay. to camera one, John. If you put it up straight, we can see the mica. If you hold okay. it up straight. It up like there you go. It's on the overheads. That is beautiful. Okay, but you, the genuinely, thing is, it looks like you've taken ages to create no the feathers. No mess on my surface, uh -huh. and no mess virtually on my hands, which is rare yeah. for me. Yeah. But I don't like too much mess. Uh -huh. So, but okay. that's too nice to waste. So I'm going to yeah. take. Now we've had a question in from Graham. Graham, thank you, buddy, for taking time to email in. So, he's been using the eye ink dye ink pads, and he's struggling with getting fingerprints on them. So, does he need to dry the ink first, or? So is it with blending? When he's blending the uh, dye ink pads from my zinc, yeah. he tends to find uh, he's getting his fingerprint marks on there. He's using the super smooth. I'm not 100% sure, to okay. be honest with you. I'm not sure what you mean by fingerprints. What if? Because the dye inks are quite a quick drying yeah. product, so you shouldn't be wet for you to be able to put finger marks into okay. it. It could be the, the tool you're using or the cardstock, but if you want to email me um, after the show, yeah. Graham, with a couple of pictures, or send a couple of pictures in. Yeah, that'd be then good. That would. Well, if I can see a picture, I can yeah. see what the problem might be. Graham, if you follow John on social media, um, then if you send maybe a tag, tag yourself in, that'd be the best way. Or here on the show now. Yeah. Or if you want an answer now, get it here on the show now. Yeah, okay. Send in the pictures, Graham, and we'll have a little We've look. Got the if very you're generous, okay to do that. Um, Emily and Marcus. So they're quite nice with things like yeah. that. But that's the second print. Okay. Have a little look. Oh, now that's nice too. Okay. Yeah. So, but if you look at this, normally this is the point where it turns to mud. Yeah. Yeah. No, it doesn't because these don't, for some reason, work their way through into it. That's interesting. So I've created this. Normally, you wouldn't go for a third look. Mm. So, uh, so have we got an email from the GP and Elaine? That's the Ginger Prince. Ah. Just saying thank you for the show, and it's great to see demonstrators do what they do best. Oh, thank you. That's the lovely. GP. I yes, like the Ginger Prince. Oh, and also big love from the Beagles, too. Oh, oh the, I Beagles love the Beagles are beautiful. I love Beagles. Oh, yeah, ask them to send you a picture of the Beagles. The Beagles are beautiful. Send in. GP, send in a yeah, picture Polly of the Beagles. Yeah, Polly and Dexter. So what you do is, this time I'm just going to go on, and I'm just going to go swirls. Mm -hmm. But it's like marbling. Oh, yeah. And I know we've seen this technique before. Okay. So we've just now we've added colours on top, but like you say, there's no muddying. There's no muddying. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the pearl one, mm. which we call sort of silver, but it's a mother of pearl finish. Okay. This will give it a pearl finish over the top. Oh, and if yeah. you look, it starts to break it a little bit. That's already looking good. And give good. it a few little dots. So uh -huh. again, I can take this, but people would, were going mad doing this when I did it on Craft Cave Live, which is what I do to yeah. sort of answer questions like yeah. this. Um, and I thought I wanted to bring it to sort of the wider audience. So just press it down. Lovely. But again, that is a beautiful print. And if we weren't in lockdown, then yes, you would be doing this as well, Yanis. Yeah, oh, that's OK. <laughs> it's just fun watching you. It's not really been possible. Yeah. So again, I'm just going to polish this. So I'm going to move to the back because okay. nobody's looking. Uh, while we're doing this, we've had emails, and please feel free. The, the point of this show, it really is about techniques and answering any questions you might have, or if you're having any problems, Graham, I uh, hope you can uh, get that picture in, and we'll try and uh, figure out the issue where you're going wrong with the uh, ink pad there, Graham. But uh, email in any questions, studio at hochanda.com. We also love to see your pictures. Now, we have got a picture in. This is from Sylvia. Oh. Now, Sylvia, we have got the 2J stamps on there. Uh, we've got the two that you can see top, uh, top left. I think we've got that one, have we? Yeah. Oh, she's used the Millhouse on this one, yeah. yeah, but you get the similar sort of look with the, which we haven't got on the show, oh, but you we get a similar yeah. look with the Wishing Well. But well what lovely. a beautiful idea. That's gorgeous, Sylvia. And she's created her own storybook. I love that. Sylvia, I love that idea. And the hedgehogs are called the Prickles family. Oh, how nice. That's really so, cute. Yeah, I know, love this could that. be published. I love it. And imagine if it was published, and then you get to use your own designs. I love it. Brilliant. So what we've done is, uh -huh. going to take off. So I've got that one. Going to take off a little bit extra. Yeah. Make sure I've got it on the edge of the bin. So this is. I love the second generation print. 
That's the second generation print of what's left. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Got a bit of a nebula But the feel colour there. intensity that I get from the sprays is far more than any other drop inks. Yeah. We used to use, like, distress reinkers to do this. Yeah. But it's just, you know, I don't get the colour. But again, watch. Clean that off. Yeah. I've got another printing surface. Wow. So this time, I'm going to cut, put on the pearl. Uh-huh. And I'm going to put on the gold. Oh, this is going to be nice. So we had a question from... Roz, this is a great question. I love this, Roz. Can we use the sprays on our gel press? Of course you can. Yeah, yeah. they're dye-based sprays. Yeah, they won't dry on the press, so uh -huh. they will work perfectly. Perfect. So no problems whatsoever. So let's just grab one of my tools again. So all I'm going to do this time is just do a... And I'm just moving it. I'm sort of putting it in. Mm. So this is the pearl and the gold. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to oh, put that black. on black. Because, of course, they've got mica in them. Yeah. So I'm really excited because I'm hoping, we've been asking, I think, they did the pastel mica sprays. We're asking them if they'll do the brights now Ooh. for later in the year. Okay. So hopefully they will, but this is a great way to start your collection of them. Yeah. Okay. Watch this. Okay, so once again, mm -hmm. I'm just going to move that out of the way to give a that a, a polish. Clean. Right. But can you see now? Oh, I needed to let that dry a little bit longer. Well okay. done. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's not. Oh, yes. Look so at I've that. got that effect. So okay. those are some of the effects yeah. that I can get from that. I'm going to show you some more things with the sprays. Okay. But what I want to show you now, mm. and this is where I'm going to be very naughty, because okay. I'm going to bring in my second one. Right, fair enough in a minute, is what do we do with it? Yeah. So we've made these pieces, but what do we do with it? This is Background. what we do with it. Well, that's fair. Now, that is, it's the Northern Lights. It is. Yeah. Now, nobody ever, we make all these backgrounds. Uh -huh. So I'm going to pull, oh, where have I put them? What are you looking Honestly, for? do you know, I'm terrible. <laughs> so here's one I made earlier. Yeah. Now, event has said that the watercolour media mat is great for doing... Oh, Yvette, Shh. genius. Mirror Shh, stamping. Don't spoil it, I'm doing oh, that. Oh, we're doing that, okay, sorry. <laughs> Yvette, we're going to be showing it, but yeah, yeah we great. are going to so be we'll showing show that, that. Yvette, don't worry. Yeah. There but we you're, are. you're absolutely right, Yvette. Really, really good. Let me just show you a picture while we're uh, getting set here. There's the Beagles! Let's have a little look. Oh, come on, how cute are That's they? That's Dexter and Polly, aren't they cute? Dexter and Polly. Love that. GP, thank you so much yes, for sending me. Yes, bless him. So, oh, I wanna, just I to give show a you, this mm -hmm. is not something I've done. This is the piece that we made earlier. That's nice. Okay, so this, I'm going to, I prepped a piece, but I'm going to stamp on this. This okay. is now, this is dry and fixed. Nice. So we've made this in this show, so we yeah. can't have been doing this for more than no. half an hour, any, we can't yeah. have been long at all. Uh, so. We've got the guillotine as well on the show, and I have to say, I've heard good things about the guillotine. Does I it? love the guillotine. Nineteen ninety nine, the price. Now, as it's going up and down, does it self sharpen? It does. It has on it yeah. a little bit. It has a steel there. Yeah. And what I mean by a steel, so anyone who's not sort of worked with knives and things before, yeah. when you see them on the um, on the TV and they've got like um, a knife. Mm -hmm. So they've got a knife, yeah. yeah, and they've got something else like a stick, and they're going like that. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it, yeah. Yeah, what that is is a steel, yeah. and it is basically a metal piece with ridges running on it. Yeah. And those ridges help, they don't sharpen the blade, they help keep it sharp. Right. This metal plate here has those ridges on it. Oh, okay. So, I and there. I know this is really difficult to show, but can you see how thick that metal plate is? Yeah. So that when I go down, Yeah, you can, you can hear it. You can hear every time. What yeah. it's doing is every time it's helping to keep the blade sharp. Ah, that's so cool. That's works cool. So so well. Uh, nice size to it as well. So eight and a half inches, nineteen ninety nine. Your price if you do want to get your cross two guillotine. When when do you choose to use a guillotine over, say, a paper trimmer? Every time. Oh really? 
Okay. I use a trimmer and I do, some people love trimmers and we do do trimmers. What, the one I use the most is the mini trimmer yeah, okay. um, that we do, the Craft 2 mini trimmer mm -hmm. is absolutely brilliant. Um, and I use that most. Mm. I am more of a guillotine person and Why? you either fall yeah. into a guillotine or a trimmer. Oh, okay. Sometimes you want to trim, other times you want to... Yeah, go I mean, I actually carry both with me. Watch okay. me get this. So, I... That is... That's the mini one. Oh, wow, that that's is, a ditty one. That is just so, so useful. Yeah. So, when, if you wanted to get something really, really precise or a really fine line, yeah. you can do that with your paper trimmer. I know that um, this is the one the only uses the bigger version of this. Mm -hmm. She loves a paper trimmer. Yeah. I just okay. happen to be more of a guillotine Fair person. Enough. Fair enough. But it's each to their own. Yeah. So what I've got there is, this is the piece that we've made today. Mm -hmm. So we've made that, we've made it look really artistic, but obviously what we want to do now is we want to do something with it. Because yeah. I have a massive collection at home. I have a box that says on it, backgrounds. Yeah. And what I've actually done is, with the sprays, mm -hmm. I've I pass it though, if I... Yeah. Can I leave that there for someone yeah. to check and you can have a look through okay. or show through. Those are a lot of the pieces come from my box. So, of pieces left over. But what I wanted to do is now, how do we use it? So, we're going to stamp over it. Yeah. And of course, because this is just simply normal standard ink, it is a dye based ink, we only need to use a Versafine. Okay. So we don't have to use a stays on or anything really damaging or anything really strong. Mm -hmm. We simply use a stays on. Nice. Uh, we have been very busy this hour as well for the press to impress. All I would say, and this is something I learned very quickly when I joined Ho Chanda, and especially going to shows, we have heard so many, so many anecdotal stories of people who were stampers, paper crafters, and fell out of stamping. They lost yep. their confidence because with acrylic blocks, they were struggling, or if you made a mistake, Stamping platforms are a game changer. So if you really do fall into that category where sometimes you're a little bit nervous that you haven't got that safety net if you are stamping down, especially with a detailed stamp, stamp platform will change the game for you. It will, yeah, definitely. Mm. I used to design stamps and I used to actually ask if someone else could do the demonstrations on them. Wow. Because I really was, un I'm not good with a block. You know, you surprised I me, John, because you're so confident. No, as I a was not good with a block. Stamping was something that really okay. did. When yeah. I was first, um, I was very lucky. I was um, spotted by somebody from doing my blog. Ah. Um, I was spotted by Sue Wilson from doing my blog, and yeah. she asked me to go in and talk to the company. And I did, and they sent me for three days training. And because I'd worked in offices, mm. you learn very quickly in offices how to read memos upside down. Oh, OK. As a lot of us do, you yeah. know. I, I heard the producer then going, hmm. Yeah. yeah, so you do learn to, re learn to read things that are upside down on other people's desks. Having a bit of a nosy. So when I got in for my training, I, you know, the lady who was training me got a piece of paper yeah. there. Um, and it was an email from, from the, one of the company and it said, give John some training, oh, specifically in stamping as his stamping is atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> but it was right, I know, but to be fair. Be, can you imagine you standing there reading that? Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, but it was right, yeah. so I'm not going to argue. So but what I'm going to do is... you're saying that stamping platform, though, is giving me Stamping platform solved yeah. it all. So I'm going to use... I'm going to meet these together, and I'm going to show you again how to do this a little bit later. OK. But instead of just going with the one scene, because I, I want to use... all This is just too beautiful not to use. Yeah, I agree. And I think I want to use that side of it. Mm. So what we do is we put our paper in, and remember, we made this in this show. Yeah. So this is what I love. This hasn't warped because of the sprays. Mm. Sometimes the, the, you know, the paper really it saturates, warps yeah. and it saturates. It hasn't. It's still, I'll get the spare yeah. piece. Look, that's where so the scraped off. Done, that's, yeah, that's just done today. No pull through. Yeah. That's actually where it's scraped off. Mm -hmm. But what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take the stamp and I'm going to put it randomly on against straight. Uh -huh. I put my card against the top and the side mm. because if it moves, yeah. I can put it back. Perfect. So yeah. always against this side wall and nice. this top wall. You've had a lovely email from Miriam. Close uh, the platform. Oh. Yeah. Now, uh, it, Miriam, right? Miriam, I apologise, Miriam. Uh, Miriam was saying, loving the show, and uh, John is so inspirational as well. The products are great, and the demonstrates. Uh, you demonstrate with ease as well, enthusiasm. Oh, nice? thank you, Miriam. That's lovely. This is, and you've got to think, we're 39 minutes into the show, and John's got two hours back to back. We will have a short break in between the hours, but two hours back to back. And this is what I love about Ho Chanda. We're not rushing you. I'm not knocking anyone else, but we're not trying to squeeze no. in a show in 40 minutes. No, you're not. Yeah. No. 
and I'm getting the time. Yeah. And what I do love is the fact that I was able to ask for this yeah. show and get it. Yeah. And know that they were say, weren't saying, well, how much are you going to sell? What new new are you bringing yeah. in? We're not. There will be some new stuff on yeah. shows later on, but for this but one, it's not. This it's is not. The, thing. That isn't the point of this show. No, it's yeah. not. Yeah. It's but not can you itself. see there how cleanly and crisply that's stamped on top, just using normal Versafine? Right. I've not even used a VersaClair. Yeah. Yeah. Straight on top. Ah. And now all I'm going to do is, yeah. this is why I love the platform. Actually, I've got, I'm using too many magnets now. Okay. So what I want to do is pull this down, mm -hmm. still wedged against that floor. I'm yeah, going to take the it. other stamp from this set. Lay that up. I'll but can you thing. see there, there's a finishing point. Yes. It's kind of like your vanishing point. Yeah. And I'm just going to put that one up against it. Uh, okay. But what I could do is make them meet. So we'll make them meet on yeah. this one. Yeah, let's yeah, do that. Okay, just like that. Had a, qu a question in from Christine. This is a good question. Yes, so Christine. So with the guillotine, uh, could, it, is, could you cut fabric with it or is it just for paper? It's mainly a paper trimmer. I yeah. would have to test it, to be Fair honest. Fair enough, okay. Um, fabric is a difficult thing to cut because you need to use scissors or yeah. um, an actual rotary blade. Yeah, so probably not. I would use yeah. it. I mean, I cut everything in it. So I even okay. cut grey board in it, which you're not supposed to. And, oh, okay. and um, you could cut felt and things like that. But, you know, if you're wanting exact accuracy, if you've got paper, if you've got fabric that you're using like embroidery and you've got it down on the paper, no yeah, problem at all. Or stabiliser or something. Or, or yeah, calico. stabilise yeah. it, but don't so, worry. Yeah. I think John's so absolutely right. Just maybe stick to your rotary cutters or scissors there, Christine. But you but can, can you see can there, up. then, how those match? Oh, that looks so good. So what we've got is the works really, yeah. it's really worked for us. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, John, so I what I'm going to do gonna now, be, uh, actually, I need to spin that. I think this is going to be a bit but of a regular thing. <laughs> you're getting so many emails coming well, that's through. That's lovely. It yeah, really is. It. Anita's wondering what card do you use for the show? I just use a standard 250 GSM stamping card. Okay. Nothing special. Nothing yeah. special. Okay. Nothing there spectacular. No. If I'm going to use a product that's special, I'll tell you. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is put some of the spray into one of the wells on the water media mat mm -hmm. and take one of the... I'm going to take... Oh, that's another great question. Now, this is... I want to pronounce this right. Serna? Well, so I think it's Cerno. I apologise if I've got your name wrong, but this is a really good question. So, new to Hochanda, and can I say welcome to Hochanda? It's, it's so nice. We always love getting new viewers, and especially uh, viewers who are new to crafting. So, you've got a lot. Okay, limited crafting experience. You're in absolutely the right place. What do you think Cerno should start with? Um, being new to Hochanda, new to crafting, what's a good starting point, John? What I would you? say, what is your like? Now, what I did first, mm -hmm. when I got first into crafting, the first thing I bought were stamps and blocks. Yeah. Because that seemed to me to give the quickest, easiest bang okay. for my book. So I would say a stamping platform and some stamps would be the first way, and that's the yeah. way I got in. Yeah. If you're talking about dies, you're talking about a die-cutting machine, it's yeah, an yeah. advancement on. That's a good point. And stamping, then, start with stamping, you can yeah. progress to dies. You can progress to dies, but what you can do a lot more with your... St with basically a stamp press, some stamps and a black ink, yeah. you can go amazing. Yeah. If you then want to, you can get something like the sprays, because yeah. what we've got here is... That's made the background, mm -hmm. but of course, I don't want to be saying, oh, and now you need to use the next product yeah. to be able to colour them. So <laughs> I'm using the sprays again Excuse and a water brush, and all I'm doing is... Yeah. I'm lightly going over where the stamped image is with the blue. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Same colour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm using a water brush to keep it nice and watery. Yeah. But can you see, anyone can do this. Nice. Because I'm not being... I'm not being, you know, mm. heavy at all. Nice. I'm not massively sticking to the lines. Yeah, so I'm just going over like this. So again, here where it's quite heavy and dark, I'm just adding a bit more yeah. blue, scratching it in. Yeah. But John, I wanted to just, show just how just about, using one colour can really ink it through. Yeah. Just think about Cerner's question and something else, and I think you, 
you, you're absolutely right when you're saying just going for the um, go for some stamps, uh, the press to impress, and get going in some ink. Mm -hmm. Something else you should try, Sona, I don't know if you've seen it on the show yet. You, if you watch Ho Chandra regularly, odds are you will see this, is embossing. So you can do it with a stamp. You just need the clear ink, and then you, start, you put your embossing powders on there, and then a heat tool. But that's something else you can progress onto. But start with some stamps. Uh, and your uh, press to impress, so a stamping platform, and you're good to go. Just very quickly, I want to give a reminder, uh, you can get hold of your sprays for your uh, glitters. This is a dry glitter spray in there. Very clever system, the way it works. So it allows you to work with your Isink uh, glitters. You just pour it in, and then it, you're just puffing it out. So you're actually getting four of these for $14.99, and a lot of you are finding them and popping them into your basket. Enough from me. Right, so all I'm doing now is putting a fine dark another layer of mm -hmm. line of the darker blue over the edge of this water yeah, yeah that's nice and i've spritzed some of the other bluey color from this color yeah yeah and i'm just going to john this is so effective shade you it kind of, in. do you so know what it looks there, like midnight if i hold this Iceland. one up that's it done that looks great so in no time from scratch but that we've got the really northern good. lights. You have. And it's cast in the blue, but all we've actually used is, lit is the stamp and the press, fair mm. enough, but we've used one set of the inks, the peacock, and a water brush, so and some I've shaving foam. Been, you've really captured the northern lights. I've been to Iceland, saw the northern lights. I actually proposed under the northern lights. Oh. But yeah, but, nah, what, can, what can I say? But um, no, but you really have captured that. That's what it's like. There's, That's more realistic it, yeah. to what it's like. But that's easy. But of course, we've got so many other pieces. But I want to show you, mm -hmm. that's the start. OK. But then we can take it on to things like just a single layer of the, um, from the Four Seasons die set. I think we've got this on the show. Yeah. That's using the piece that I did a little bit earlier, which I've put down somewhere. Here we go. Can you see that is that one? Oh, yeah. So that pattern. Very nice. That's just with a die cut over it. Or we can multi-layer it like I've done with black in this one. Oh, that's pretty. So another example of how you can progress. So going from just a very simple shaving foam technique and a stamp, yeah. and then a bit of colouring in with the same ink, or then you can start dipping into your stash, looking at dyes that you might have and creating beautiful yeah. scenes. So, so John, we've got about eight minutes left. So what, what if you don't have show? any shaving foam at home? Yeah, this is, oh, I'm curious how you do of. this. So now I have to look around manically mm -hmm. to remember where I put it. Um, oh. What are we looking for? Ah, there it is. OK. Yeah. So this is something that I'm sure everybody's got at home. Go on, what is it? This is hand sanitizer. Ah, uh, got loads of it. OK. So again, on to yeah. my thing. And thankfully, the other thing is this is really, really good for Clean getting hands. the ink off your hands. Yeah. What okay. you do is sort of rub it on, do a couple of layers, and then right. wash it off. So exactly the same thing. So I've, I've got a clean rule. Yeah. But I'm going to do the same this time. That's interesting. Now, I have to say, I got this idea from a friend of mine, Jodie, who said, would it not work with alcohol ink? Right. So, not nice. with alcohol ink. Now, uh, Elaine's asking, what card would you recommend with sprays? Whatever smooth card you've got. Right, OK. Yeah, I enough. literally, I use... Everything. Um, I think it's 250 GSM Lime Tree Craft card. OK. That's what I've got, yeah. Um, for spraying, although actually we do do, Crafts 2 do, um, I don't know if it's still on, we used to do a mega pack of cream and white of our base card. Mm. Um, that's brilliant for it, okay. because it's a, it's, a, it's a smooth surface with just yeah. a little bit of texture on it. Yeah. Um, that might be on the brand shop. Okay. But so you can see that, look how it pulls. Well, that's already looking good. Yeah, so I can. OK mess into this. John, I've never seen this being done before. So we'll get a lot more intense. OK. And obviously, you know, because it's not like the shaving foam, it's not as expanded no. as much. Yeah. So we don't get quite as much um, moving on. Uh -huh. so Carol's message in saying, this is great, but two hours is not enough. There we we need go. maybe a 24 hours with John Lockwood. Yeah. Look at this. Oh. Yeah, uh, so all I'm going to do is the same thing again, take my rule. I, am, yeah. I know you can't see this, but I am using it over the edge of a bin. 
yeah. to keep it nice and neat. So we've got a new format for you and I've got to thank uh, floor manager Ben who is usually the one who comes up with new ideas for uh, our formats. Brilliant and, and uh, he works closely with producer Emily. How about this? Lockdown with Lockwood. Hey! Lockdown with lockers. Lockdown with lockers. Or lockers lockdown. A lockers lock -in. I like that one. Thanks Ben. Yeah. But then you see there. Oh that's nice. That's a bit more marbly. It is a bit more marbly and to me it's a little bit more because the alcohol in the actual hand sanitizer yeah. soaks in a little bit more. Okay. But you get a really nice look and once you've started doing it you'll get more patterns. Mm. So can you see the waves and things are going in that? Yeah. So what I would do with this one is this one I would either leave mm -hmm. to dry or you want to do it on a flat surface and you want to scrape off. Yeah. Yeah? To reveal. Nice. But of course what you can do is just keep building up layers. But you get a softer, subtler finish. But again, can you imagine stamping over that? Well, they're beautiful. And again, if I bring in one of the earlier ones, they're not that far apart. So again, if you want to try it and you haven't or yeah. can't get shaving foam, use the hand sanitizer. Yes. It's the one thing that at the moment, most of us yeah. have got all over the place. Oh, it's true. Very, very true. Um, just got to say, we, we got so your stash. You know, you say you've got backgrounds. It's a very quick peek into uh, John's own stash. So he builds up his own backgrounds, just puts them into a box. So just looking through, saying we might have backgrounds like this at home, but John's going to be showing you techniques and how to build them up. So these are just different backgrounds that John has in his stash that he's done. But it's nice to have a peek into John's own little personal personal crafty world that's these nice came one. out of the box of backgrounds that i have oh i like that too how do you do that that's, that's nice. just squirted onto atc coins ah, i really like and that and then just taken taken an impression well, off we know how you've done that one you've just shown us all your uh, techniques shaving foam or the sprays this is another one on that's using the gold when you leave it to dry a little the bit the gold and silver onto black cardstock on the seth apter sprays that we have on the show i mean that's on black cardstock beautiful Okay, how are we getting on, John? We've got, I would say, about three minutes. Right, okay, so what we're we going to do next, John's got to try and remember mm -hmm. what we've got. So he looks, through his, he looks through his list manically. Yes, so I just need to clean this off, but okay, I'll let what you I want to do Shall is... I let you clean up? Or? Well, okay. this is the only time I clean this off is when I've used the alcohol uh, okay. ink. Yeah, what I want to show you now is mm -hmm. we'll take it, this will take on to the next album. This is one of my favourite techniques, again, using the sprays, using the water media mat. Yeah. And remember, don't worry how mucky you get this because it goes in a dishwasher. But look at all of that just wiping off. I give that a spritz with cleaner, it'll clean off. Yeah, yeah. And I've had these now for over nine months, I think, this one. Wow, OK. But what I'm going to do is let's pretend that I've just done some spraying and some spritzing yeah. on here. Oh, yeah. So I've got some spray laid down. We have got the watercolour mats on the show. Uh, we've just got that on the details. 19.99, your price, saving five pounds. So I've got bits left over. Yeah. Now, this is one of the only times when you will find me using kitchen roll. Oh, okay. I don't use kitchen roll. Yeah. See, so the pink cloths I brought in today, there's some microfiber cloths from, from the 99p plus a penny store. Yeah. Um, that I cut up and yeah. use. And I'm with Leone, I don't like using, but the kitchen roll, we're going to use this as a technique, and I okay. discovered this by accident a long time ago. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is clean up. Yeah. So I'm going to wipe up everything Mm -hmm. Okay, that's on the mat, just like I would do normally. Yeah. And what I actually did when I did this, and it wasn't on a media mat, it was actually on a glass plate. Okay, mm -hmm. but what I actually did when I used to craft in my old garage was I screwed this up, okay, and I threw it on the floor. Yeah. It's a few years ago. Okay. Oops. And then the next day I came to pick it up to, to bin everything and tidy, and I unrolled it. And I thought, ooh, I got a really nice Oh, I like that. It's like tie dye. Look. Now, what I'd actually done was, yeah. I, because I'd screwed it up and thrown it like that, yeah. I'd put it on the floor. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it would actually take a little bit of time. So I've got one here I did earlier. Nice. Okay, so this is one that I just literally on. screwed up. Yeah. But this is what I've got. Lovely. Now what I'll be doing next is showing you exactly what we can do with this so and how we can turn this. Stay tuned for the next hour into this. Amazing. Oh, we love it. Uh, very, very quickly, because time's been, we're just going to have a, a couple minute break and then we're going to get back to another hour of John demoing. Uh, I had a viewer uh, email in our call center just asking the palette that John was blending the colors on. That's the mixed media mat. Details are here. Your item number is 785-543, saving five pounds, 19.99. And the press to impress is at the bottom of your screen, 34.97. I think you're saving seven pounds there uh, and you're getting a carry case with it. So those are the two items that you called in. I'm sorry I don't have your name, but you called the call center. So we've got another hour with John. Please stick around. 